Welcome to Pat's Chat. I'm Steve Colby, and we are brought to you today by Ortho Virginia. Great to have you along with us, and it's a great pleasure to be joined by head coach of George Mason Women's Lacrosse, Kara Mupo. Kara, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? It is great to see you. Uh, it's been a little bit different this year. Uh, you came on board, and then two months later, COVID-19. What have you been able to do to make things at least a little bit normal for the team up till now? Yeah, absolutely. So COVID was definitely a bit of a curveball, but I've been saying it since day one. I think that is the nature of sport, which is the beauty of it. Things get thrown at you at unexpected times and you have to roll kind of with the punches. So we've been super fortunate here at George Mason. Our administration has done an amazing job giving us guidelines to stick to. Um, we followed a really awesome phase progression with our team, which allowed us towards the end of fall ball to, to wrap up into full team practice. But we've just been taking advantage of any opportunity we get, uh, whether it's in pod or full team, to just kind of hit the ground running with these new concepts and starting to build this new culture. What are some of the challenges when you take over a program? Obviously, you've got a lengthy collegiate career, national championships on your resume, a professional career, international career as well. What are some of the challenges? What are some of the, uh, the fun things that you encounter when you take over a program? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge and the biggest thing I was focused on initially was building relationships. Um, I think you win with people. It's a famous Woody Hayes quote. So that was a big focus for me coming in was to establish relationships with these girls. And granted, due to COVID, that was definitely difficult. A big part of my relationship building process with them was through a computer screen initially. And, you know, that's really tough not having that in-person relationship, but finding ways to continuously, you know, plug those moments where whether we're taking time to watch inspirational videos or they're throwing suggestions at me of things that they like just to get to know them off the field that does nothing more than create relationships that eventually will segue to a strong culture and a positive team environment on the field which is what we're pushing for obviously everyone is hoping that there can be fans yeah. in the stands at george mason stadium when the season rolls around and uh, it's going to come up on you pretty quickly. But even if not, uh, you know, folks can watch it on uh, on television and on their computer screens. Uh, what kind of team can George Mason fans expect to see? Love that question. I love to live by high risk, high reward. We want to play fast. That's been a big focus for us this fall, learning a lot of new skill sets for sure. But we want to get up and down fast. Uh, we live by a motto, you know, we may be outskilled and that's fine, right? At any level, the most elite Olympic professionally, all the way down to, you know, when you first start playing, there's going to be moments where you get outskilled and that's okay, but we will never be outworked. And that's been a big focus of ours coming into the A-10 uh, this upcoming season, especially with me being here, we're laying a new foundation. We're teaching a ton of skill that's going to take time, right? We're trying to, you know, revamp habits that these guys have had for the last couple of years, for some of them, the last three or four years under different leadership, but we will not be outworked. And that's our MO. So fans can expect a high pace game, a lot of up and down, a ton of excitement mixture of upperclassmen and new faces on the roster coming up for the upcoming season as well. Uh, can you highlight some of the players that you will lean on that you'll count on as a squad and as a club moving forward? And, uh, you know, maybe um, give us a sneak preview of some of these new faces that may jump out at us right away. Absolutely. I think the biggest one I'm super excited about Aaron Donahue, a senior midfielder, uh, Deanna Balsama, a junior attacker, who's a prolific scorer for us. They're going to be, pretty big key returners for us. And then uh, a freshman, Kate Antonelli. She's made a lot of a lot of noise this fall, really excited about her development. But honestly, overall, I think the mixture of our freshmen with our leadership and experience of our upperclassmen is that's going to come together really nicely. It's never easy. And, uh, you know, the work behind the scenes uh, to, you know, go from, you know, playing when you're a youngster to playing at the collegiate level, to playing club, to playing international and, and professionally, um, you know, when you look back on it, um, I'm sure you have a, a, a ton of stories, but who helped you along the way as a player as you were growing up and who has helped you along the way as a coach? Yeah, because although they're similar, there's also, you know, a lot of differences between the two. Absolutely. Um, I think as a player, for me, it's always been really hard to pinpoint one. Um, I love to pick up styles and skills from a bunch of different players. Uh, I think if I had to name one right off the bat, probably would be Hannah Nielsen from Northwestern. Uh, she's an alum I never had the chance to play with, but from Australia, a lefty point and attacker, uh, 
lot of skill, a lot of skill. So I really love to watch her play and pick that up as a player. And now I use her style in my coaching in terms of influence as a coach, hands down my collegiate coach, Kelly Monty Hiller. She's still at Northwestern. I have to say she definitely at first it was, it was a hard adjustment, but if she's taught me one thing, it's how you approach one thing and how you do one thing is how you do everything. And that's been a consistent message that I've been preaching to the girls since I've got here. You know, we've got to wake up every day with that killer mindset to get better. Uh, and again, how you do one thing is how you do everything off the field, in the classroom, in the community. And that's the type of culture we're looking to breed here. You mentioned the quote by uh, John Wooden and, you know, it's, it's so many coaches uh, from all different sports, everything sort of uh, crosses each other. You know, coaches are always looking for that, that inspiration or that one quote or that, that drill that can help them get over that hump in a very, you know, a, a, and persevere in a tough situation. Uh, you kind of alluded this, to this earlier, but, you know, talk to me about your coaching style and, um, you know, what that means, you know, not only in your preparation, but also on a game day. Yeah, absolutely. So I would say my coaching style in general, I want to create an environment at practice that replicates, if not amplifies the type of environment they're going to see in a game. I want practices to be intense, both from myself and my staff. Um, and I, I want them to be the best version of themselves. And I want them to understand that it is our job, both on the field, in the classroom, off the field. And, you know, when in, they leave here at Mason, that they are prepared to face any situation. So I would say it's definitely intense, uh, but everything I do has a reason. And it's always with best intentions in mind. So the excitement builds and builds as you get closer to uh, that opening face off for a brand new year. What is it that you're, mo you know, being there day to day and sometimes, you know, the days are long, sometimes they're shorter, you know, that happens to everybody in every profession. But what's the one or two things that you're looking forward to the most you're most excited about uh, heading into the season? I have to be honest, I think the most thing I'm excited for first game to get off the bus with my new squad, you know, representing George Mason, taking the field for this new era that we have, I, I think, just to be able to put a product out there, even if it's not exactly what we're looking for just yet in February 13th, when we take the field that first day against Maryland, just to be out there, I know this journey started months ago, but to be able to be out on the field with them, it, it's going to be such an unbelievable unbelievable feeling that honestly I've, I've been dreaming about now for months a couple of rapid fires for you as we wrap it up here and uh, we're looking forward to seeing this team on the field um you know through your playing career and now as a, as a coach any pregame rituals that you used to have that maybe have carried over until now yes I am extremely superstitious I am not hesitant to put that out there um, I use like the same socks the same sneakers the same leggings so I was a superstitious player that carries right over What's better, a nice goal or an incredible assist? Incredible assist, always. iPhone or Android, what's in your pocket? iPhone. And last thing for you, that one phrase that your team never wants to hear during a practice. <laughs> oh, boy. Strike three. <laughs> <laughs> Strike three. Well, uh, it's uh, been great getting to know you, Kara Mupo, uh, head coach of the George Mason women's lacrosse team. Pat's Chat brought to you by Ortho Virginia. Kara, thank you for the time. We look forward to seeing you on the field. Thank you.